Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to upgrade your original M.2 drive to a larger M.2 drive. So assuming that this is the one terabyte and you're planning to upgrade the current existing laptop drive because you need more capacity, more storage, and this is the video we're going to walk you through step by step on how to get one of these installed in your laptop. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I like to do is to identify your laptop. If you flip it around at the back of your computer, take a look at this number here. It says Acer Aspire A515-46 series. All right, so the next step you like to do is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using the electric one, or you can get yourself a manual spinning Phillips screwdriver. All right, so let's go ahead and remove all the screws. So all the screws are the same sizes, therefore it is okay if you mix match the screw, so you don't have to worry on that part. Alright, once you have removed all the screws, the next part is to go ahead and pry it open. So the back cover is here, what I like to do is to start from the corner. Go ahead and get yourself uh, a tool, a prying tool to pry the plastic. I like to use the plastic one to run along the bottom of the laptop. Therefore, it doesn't make a scratch or anything if I use the metal prying tool. Okay, so once you have pried open the laptop, the entire back cover will just come right off. Once the back cover is removed, now you can see that the laptop at the bottom right corner this is where your M.2 solid state drive is installed. Go ahead and get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and remove that one screw and slide the M.2 towards your body. So slide it down towards yourself. And this is the original um, M.2 drive. So this one here is only 128 gigabytes, which is quite small if you ask me. You can easily fill up all your pictures, all your data in very short period of time. Now, so assuming that you went ahead and bought yourself a brand new um, M.2 drive and you try to upgrade it, very simple. You just have to slide it back at 45 degree angle towards down away from that direction and put that one screws back in. Okay, once you have done that process, let me do a bit of an explanation. Your Windows 10 or 11 is installed in this original M.2 drive. However, with the brand new M.2 drive, it is blank. It doesn't have Windows in it. It doesn't have your data like your pictures, music, games, anything. What you had on the old one, it is not in the new one. You understand me so far? So, once you have installed that new M.2 drive, you are given with two options. Option one is you want to clone everything over, meaning that you buy one of these USB adapter. I'll link them in the description below. Go check it out. It will direct you to either Amazon or eBay, where you can buy that um, USB adapter for your M.2 drive. Now, assuming that you use the option one, meaning that you are planning to clone everything identical from the original over to the new drive, you need to buy one of this, 
and also the software which is called Acronis. I'll link them in the description below where you can check it out. What you can do is you can stick it in, right? Stick it in your USB here, and you can clone identical stuff over to your new drive. That's option one to do it. It is not going to be in this video, but I'll have, I have made a separate video for that cloning purpose. Go check it out either up here on the top, the bar, or check it out in the link in the description below. I'll link it for you and so you can watch it. Okay, now the option number two is, is you go ahead and buy yourself a brand new Windows 10 USB installer. Okay, so this Windows USB installer, what it does is that once you install the hard drive, then if you want a fresh brand new window install, buy one of this and plug it in to the USB and do the fresh windows install. That's one way to do it. If you don't want to buy this, you can actually go to Microsoft website and create yourself a bootable USB drive with the windows in it and boot it and reinstall windows yourself. So you have a brand new fresh windows in your brand new hard drive. And later on, you can also buy one of the tool with the original and transfer your picture, music, data, whatever back into the, uh, the new drive. All right. So I hope this video is helpful. And if you have any question, please comment below. I do read your comments and I'll reply back to you in a timely manner. And if you find this video um, is helpful, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And um, thanks for watching. And if you're interested to see how I upgrade the additional RAM to the eight gigabytes, go ahead and click on this little box here on the left. I'll make that separate video for you. All right, thanks for watching. Bye now.